battery. This. This is the input battery. Power battery. 24 volts. 2.74 amps in and we have 2.74 amps out. It fluctuates a little bit but basically what's going in is coming out in amperage. Voltage is 24 in, 12 out. put a small charger on it and it's not over unity folks this is efficient yes but not what I would consider consistently over unity motor so Bedini six six circuits and three coils which means that this is a 3.6 motor. Over unity is a difficult thing, and it's something that it really has to be studied properly to understand it. What we're getting so far is as increase the speed of the motor, the input amperage climbs, but not at the same rate as the charge amperage. It, there's a definite curve of diminishing loss as you increase the speed of the motor. Let's take a quick look at that again here. Got to calibrate this stupid DC motor it, or DC meter. It's uh, it's always getting out of whack here. So we're basically 2.74 amps into the charge battery, and we are 2.74 amps from the 24 volt input battery that's powering the motor. Like I said, you can see it fluctuates a little bit all over the place, so it's not as cut and dry as you might think. It does do an incredible job of charging and neodymium uh, magnets on the motor <clears throat> seem to be able to give it a little more torque than we were getting a ferrite type magnets so and this is a stage one motor we have a couple more you'll see in some other videos here but I wanted to give you a look at this horizontal three six motor by zero point fuel and put a little boost on it which is right here It. It's not a screamer, you got to tweak it to get it to scream, but when you're charging, it, that little boost, sometimes it'll hit a spot where it doesn't seem to want to climb at the same rate, and you pop that on, and it'll, it'll pop it back off, and it'll start climbing again. Zero Point Fuels 3.6 motor. This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel.